Serikali ya kitaifa imetangaza mipango ya kuongeza kasi ya ujenzi wa eneo maalum la kiuchumi la bandari ya Lamo chini ya mradi wa Lamo Port South Sudan kuelekea Ethiopia Transport. Mtazamaji akizungumza wakati wa ukaguzi wa barabara za mradi huo na idara nyingine za usafiri, Waziri wa Barabara na Usafiri Davis Chiruchir amesisitiza kwamba ujenzi wa barabara za mradi huo wa uchumi maalum katika bandari ya Lamo inatarajiwa kukamilika kwa muda mfupi zaidi ili kurahisisha utendakazi wa bandari hiyo. What we need to do in Lamo to support the corridor is to develop the special economic zone to akikisha kwamba viwanda zimekuja hapa kwa sababu we don't just want to rely on our neighbors to support the Lamo uh, as uh, a seaport we need to develop that special economic zone tumefika pia tukaona what SEZ, Special Economic Zone Authority, is doing. They've got about 5,000 acres. Uh, they have opened a road. We have driven halfway the road. We need to open that road and make sure that we do facilitate uh, the development of the Special Economic Zone. In later Rwanda, we, we create opportunities for employment, but more importantly, we grow industry. Industry at the moment is growing at about, what, 7% GDP. We need to move it up to 10 15 and so on and so forth. So my focus for Lamo as it were would really be to ensure that uh, Lamo is that kind of county headquarters not just because of being one of our 47 counties but the county headquarters which supports uh, inland and out, outbound and inbound uh, goods coming in all the way to Uganda, uh, Rwanda, DRC, but more importantly, the northern part of the country into Ethiopia, South Sudan, and uh, of course our competitors in Djibouti, our competitors down south in Dar uh, are not sleeping. Mom.